This is the first section on chapter 11 on vectors and this section is entitled vectors. So first of all, just a quick recap from what you would have learned from GCSE about vectors. Parallel vectors, always multiples of each other. Different routes are equivalent. So you can take a different route as long as you start and finish in the same place, you'll get an equivalent vector. If you reverse the sign, when you go in the opposite direction, so if one direction is A, the opposite direction will be negative A, and you'll see in books that vectors are drawn in bold letters. Um, but since it's going to be difficult for us to do bold letters, make sure that you underline any vectors that you write down. Example one, the diagram shows vectors A, B and C. Draw a diagram to illustrate the vector addition A plus B plus C. Now we need to take note of the number of squares. So I can see that vector A is three, six squares across and three squares up. So I'm going to draw mine in the same way. So you can probably see some faint squares here. So I'm going to start here, three, six, three up. So it's going to end here. So let's draw that vector. So we, we want to draw them the same as they're given. So this is the vector A. Now, A plus B means that where A finishes, we need to carry on with B, and B is three across and two down. So B is gonna take me to this point. So it's vector B. And then plus C means then I carry on from C, uh, from B to C, and C is just five down. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's the vector C. And we should always draw the arrows on so we know um, which direction we're going in. So to start from this point, A plus B plus C. So we can say that actually this is equivalent to this vector. Because that vector, when it's drawn straight, starts at A and finishes at the end of C. So this vector here is A plus B plus C. It's equivalent because it's a different route, but it takes me from the same start place to the same finish place. I think at the beginning I said it's same route, same routes as in you start and finish at the same place. Example two, in the diagram, QP equals A. So QP is this, QR equals B, so there. QS is C, okay, that's there, and R to D, R to T is D, okay. Find in terms of A, B, C, and D in part A, P to S. So if I'm gonna go from P to S, I need to take this route here. So it's a different route, but I'm starting finishing in the same place. So to get from P to S, I'm gonna go P to Q, and then Q to S. So that's going to be P to Q is negative A. And then Q to S is going to be plus C. Now I could write that instead as C minus A. The advantage with that is that you don't lose that negative because it's easy when you're doing working to forget that you've put a negative. You're not going to miss it if you see it there. So this is equivalent. It's the same thing. It's like algebra. You can change the terms around. You can collect like terms works in the same way. So P to S, negative A plus C, or you could say plus C minus A. Part B, you want to go from R to P. So R to P, that's from there to there. We're going to take this route here. So that's R to Q. So we've got to take the routes that have got letters on, vectors on R to Q, and then Q to P. So R to Q, this one is negative B, negative B, and then Q to P is A plus A, or we could write this out as A minus B so we don't lose the minus. C, P to T. So if we're going to go from P to T, we need to go right around this way. Okay, we're still starting to finish in the same place. So we're going to go from P to Q and then Q to R, and then R to T. So you can see we start at P, we finish at T. 
but we're using the roots that have got vectors. So P to Q is negative A. Q to R is B. And R to T is D. So we can write that down, or we might want to just tuck that negative sign in the middle so we don't lose it. So something like that. And lastly, part D, we've got T to S. So we're going from here to here. Now, one way of doing it is T R R Q Q S. So T to R, R to Q, and then Q to S. So T to R is negative D. R to Q is negative B, negative B. And then Q to S is plus C. OK, so that or we can move things around and say C minus D minus B will be fine. Example three, ABCD is a parallelogram. AB is vector A, AD is vector B, find AC. OK, now if we've got a parallelogram, we know that the opposite sides are parallel and the same length. So it means that these vectors that are opposite and parallel are the same. So this is the same as vector B, and this is the same as vector A here. Now, if we want to get from A to C, we can't go directly because there's no vectors there. So I can take either root, A plus B, or B plus A, and you know that they're equivalent. So A plus B, or we could write B plus A, they're both equivalent. Example four, show that the vectors 6A plus 8B and 9A plus 12B are parallel. Well, the first thing we need to remember is that parallel vectors, they're going to be multiples of each other, so multiples of each other. So are these vectors multiples of each other? And I can see they are 6A plus 8B. If I multiply that by 1.5, I'll get 9A plus 12B. So I can write that uh, these vectors are parallel. These vectors are parallel uh, because 9A plus 12B is this vector 6a plus 8b times by 1.5. Example 5, in triangle ABC, a to b is a, so a to b, this vector here. So let's maybe just put it here, that's a, and then a to c is b, so this vector going from there to there is b. P is the midpoint of AB, right? So that means these are halves. So that means that we have this bit here is half A. This bit here is half A. And then it says Q, that's point Q there, divides AC in the ratio of three to two. So this is three parts and this is two parts. So there's five parts altogether. So three fifths and two fifths. And it will be three fifths of B that way, and this will be two fifths of B again going that way, like that. Right, so what we need to do, write down in terms of A and B, part A, B to C, right? So to get from B to C, we're going to go around this way, so minus A, or let's write it this way, so we're going to go from B to A. And then A to C, B to A is negative A, A to C is B. So negative A plus B, or we can write B minus A. Part B, we have A to P. Right, now to get from A to P is there. Now we already know that, that's half A. So we can just write half A straight down without any further working. Part C, A to Q. So again, we've already marked that on our diagram. A to Q is three fifths of B. And then part D, P to Q. 
So that's getting from here to here. So we're going to go backwards there, forwards there. So we're going to go from P to A. And then we're going to go A to Q. Now P to A is going to be minus a half A because we're going backwards along the A. And then A to Q is going to be three fifths of B. So if we want to get the negative in the middle, we could write three fifths B minus a half A. So you should now be able to do exercise 11A on pages 234 to 235 of the textbook.